Let's start off this video by saying that this animatronic is not what he seems. Golden Balloon Boy is the newest FNAF easter egg, popularized by me, Johnny the Night Guard, Attic Partiers, and Puggo's Pizzeria. It's a very easy easter egg to understand. In the mobile version of FNAF 2, you can unlock this character on your desk in place of the Balloon Boy action figure after beating 1020 mode 10 times in a row without dying. Very simple to understand, but very impossible to get, so it would make sense why only 10 years later we discovered it. But what if I told you that this character actually has a much deeper backstory than anyone knows, and in this video I will be interviewing the person who discovered this animatronic because believe it or not, this isn't just an ordinary easter egg. So before we take a look into this rabbit hole, make sure to subscribe if you love Finance at Freddy's. FNAF 2 arguably has some of the most easter eggs out of any FNAF game, and it's usually not uncommon for easter eggs to be discovered later down the game's life cycle, and just like those cases, this happened to be the circumstance for Golden Balloon Boy. Last month, data miners were looking through the files of the older FNAF games out of pure boredom, until they found a PNG file of a different variation of the Balloon Boy toy on the desk. But they only seemed to find this file on the mobile version of the game, and not the new Click Team remake of FNAF 2, the OG FNAF 2 that was on mobile, because the same file was not present in the other versions of the game. Then after they researched some more, they realized he could be unlocked in the game, but only under very difficult circumstances, which was beating 1020 mode 10 times in a row, which is nearly impossible on mobile. After this discovery, they reached out to me so I could publish their findings. So to spread the word of this easter egg, I contacted some of my FNAF YouTuber friends and we all posted a video about it sharing our information. Now I'm sure you have questions. like. How was this not found sooner? Why is there no other footage of this? And etc. Well, let's get into it because that's all easily explainable. Due to newer software releasing over time, these data miners had new tools to look deeper into the files, which led them to finding this easter egg. Also due to the obscurity of the old mobile port of FNAF 2, it also doesn't help that it's a hard copy to find on the internet. And then to data mine it, it's just not really what people do unless you're data mining it specifically searching for something. To back up the evidence even more, the game is 10 years old almost, so why would you need to data mine a 10 year old game when all the supposed easter eggs were already found? Exactly. This also explains why no other footage is available online about this character, because the data miner was the only person to find it, and then they sent me everything, and then I sent it all to the other YouTubers who posted about it and so on. Give it some time guys, I'm sure we'll find a video or two about someone beating 1020 mode 10 times in a row to find it, so just be patient. But if you think that's all the information about this easter egg, then you are mistaken, because this is only the tip of the iceberg. Because what if I told you that everything I just said was a lie? Well, yeah. For the most part, it was. Golden Balloon Boy isn't in FNAF 2 because he doesn't exist. He is FNAF's newest hoax that I created, along with some help from other YouTubers I mentioned so far in this video. So hold on, hold on a second, obviously I know what you guys are thinking. How did we come up with this and most importantly why? Well now since you know the fake story behind Golden Balloon Boy, let's take a look at the truth behind him. It all started when me, Johnny, Attic, and Puggles wanted to make an April Fools video together. We obviously didn't know exactly what to do, so we all began to compile our ideas together for a video. So I suggested the idea of making a hoax. A hoax that would be semi-believable but at the same time also having it be silly in nature. So we spun off that idea, looking at other FNAF hoaxes to get inspiration, with the main one being Emerald Freddy, which is also a new hoax that was spread online of a green Freddy, but I won't get into that in this video, you can do your own research on that. Or I can make my own video about it if you guys are interested. But anyways, after that, Attic suggested that we make a new Balloon Boy variant, and then it all went downhill from there. Just kidding. We all started to combine different elements from the FNAF games to make this hoax become real, with the main elements of it being that it's an easter egg, and it's not an animatronic, and that it's super hard to find. You know, so it's more believable because, like, let's be honest, hoax animatronics just aren't believable anymore. We need to spice it up, so we did. So now with the Golden Balloon Boy hoax in mind, we needed to figure out how to implement it into one of the games to make it look even more real. And then that's when I had a light bulb quite literally explode in my head. So just listen here. I think we can do a uh, a thing like, so like in FNAF 2 and I think FNAF 1, um, there was the the little uh, action figures you can get on the desk. Um, I don't know if any of the games had like a Balloon Boy action figure. Um, 
I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I feel like uh, FNAF 2 might have like a Balloon Boy action figure that's on the desk or something. Um, if there is... Or even if there isn't, I think we should do like something a little bit more minuscule where it's like a, a hidden action figure you can get on your desk and it can be like, you have to beat this custom night mode a hundred times or a thousand times or this many times in a row without dying and you unlock the golden balloon boy action figure on your desk and then we can like Photoshop something like that. So it's really easy. So it'd be easier to do. And it's not like, oh my God, it's a rare occurrence because everyone that's like, that's kind of obvious. It's like, oh, well, how come I don't see it in all the 10 years from after 2 hasn't been out? But if it's like an action figure that gets on your desk after completing this many things of custom night or whatever, I think that'd be way better. And I think that's a good idea. That was my audio recording that I sent to those guys over Discord, discussing my thoughts and opinions of what we should do for the animatronic. And that was just the frosting on the cake right there, because just like that, the hoax was ready to go. But there was still one thing missing, the image, because let's be honest here, the hoax image could either make or break the hoax entirely, and with a vision in mind, I got to work. After some more brainstorming, I made some rough drafts, which are never before seen until now, and as you can see, it definitely needed some improving. Some more drafts later and boom, the image was finished. But that still wasn't the end of it because we even had more ideas afterwards. Golden Balloon Boy wasn't just going to be an action figure, no, he was actually going to be an actual animatronic in a way. Puggos had the idea to change the custom night logo of Balloon Boy to look gold too. And I tried to make it but I failed tremendously and it just didn't look good or realistic so we scrapped that part of it as well. Then afterwards I made a little PNG of the figure so we could all post about it and we were all set and ready to edit our videos and the rest is history. Now obviously we all had a very integral part making this animatronic, all thinking of different ideas and all latching onto each other's ideas and expanding on more thoughts and etc. So this isn't just my creation even though I, you know, said it was, it, it isn't, it's all of our creations and I'm not going to try and take full credit for it, but I did make that image, so I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, most of my long form videos and even shorts on this channel are about hoaxes and rumors. It's always been something I've been fascinated about ever since I was a kid watching FNAF videos. Just wondering if the Sparky the dog or the purple guy animatronic hoax is real is just something that would sit in the back of your mind as you played the game. And especially at a younger age, I was 10 years old when FNAF 1 came out, and hearing about the Sparky the dog hoax I just like I was immediately intrigued so I just thought it was super cool to like kind of hop on the opportunity to make my own hoax and even have the help of bigger FNAF YouTubers help me out with it it's just something I never expected I'd ever be doing but it's just kind of like I don't know I guess it kind of fulfilled like a childhood dream of mine of some sort so I do want to say thank you guys to everyone who watched like our videos about it because it just helped it spread even more and I just thank you guys so much for that sorry about my side tangent right there I just want to say thank you to everyone who participated in making this hoax and everyone who watched the videos about it and so on. Well, I hope this explains everything regarding the Golden Balloon Boy hoax slash easter egg. I still would love to continue to pretend that this is an actual easter egg just to mess around with people and I hope you guys will be the same and will kind of just, you know, do a little bit of trolling as you will. But anyways, without further ado, thank you to our channel members and have a great day.